morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, questions about our Truth Skin Health products, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please head to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got news stories, blog posts, as well as all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Also want to encourage you to check out our business opportunity for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, earn thank you checks associated with spreading the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can work out of your home. You can make your own business hours, have a nice supplemental income, or you can just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire for one time $25 fee. Call the phone team at 866-735-2470. They can give you more information. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And I also would like to remind you to check out our truth Skin health products, truthtreatments.com, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. If you're dealing with blemished skin or acne-prone skin or aging skin or you want to prevent aging skin, also if you have dark spots, you want to know about our Retinol 5% Gel made with more retinol than you're going to find in any other product anywhere on the marketplace. in the marketplace, in addition to having a big old dose of vitamin C, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, surfactant, water, oil, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want ever in any of our Truth Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com. That's our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, and our award-winning Truth Transdermal C Serum voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar magazine. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All righty, welcome back to The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us, friends. We're talking strategies for cardiovascular health, the most important ones being food and diet. No surprise there. That's the most important strategy for anything to do with health, food and diet. I'm not a foodie. I say it all, I say it all the time. That's not my role. I'm simply saying that if we are sick or if we're on medication or if we're dealing with a doctor and we don't want to be sick and we don't want to be on medication and we don't want to, being, uh, don't want to have to deal with the medical model, Food and diet represent a major power point, a major leverage point for us to take advantage of when it comes to health. Simply by stopping eating, simply by fasting, you can reduce the markers of many health challenges just by not eating. You know what? 
a lot of times I hear people talking about how expensive it is to get on a good nutritional supplement program, how expensive it is to get healthy. When you use fasting or you leverage the power of fasting, not only doesn't it cost you money, you actually save money. You actually make money. This is a health strategy that will put money in your pocket. Stop eating. Now, I know, I know that eating behavior is very difficult to control, and I'm only being slightly facetious here, but the less you eat, the longer you live. We eat way too much. Eating takes up a lot of t- uh, preparing food, and eating takes up time. It takes up money. Think of all the t- extra time you're going to have when you eat less food. Even if we do eat at our meals, if we stop eating halfway through or stop eating after a couple of bites, we will be able to take advantage of the power of calorie restriction, and you'll save money and save time as well. Win, win, win all the way around. The only thing that's not going to win is our brains, which is really a lot of times where we eat from. You know, a lot of times we don't even eat from our brains. We eat from a little postage, a postage stamp size area on the top of our tongue. Just imagine that you didn't have a tongue. Imagine that your tongue was gone or imagine that your tongue is numb. If you have a good enough imagination, just kind of just close your eyes and imagine your tongue is numb. Can you feel how your appetite goes away without a tongue? How your appetite goes away when you pretend or imagine that your tongue is numb? That's because our eating behavior is driven many times, maybe most of the time, by a little tiny postage stamp size area on the top of our tongue. That's where we have our taste buds. And we eat for taste. Nothing, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. It's hardwired into us to eat for taste, but it doesn't serve our bodies sometimes. The body doesn't like ice cream. The tongue likes ice cream. The brain might like ice cream, but the body doesn't like ice cream, believe it or not. The body doesn't like Snickers bars. The body doesn't like apple pie. The body doesn't like fried foods. That little postage stamp size area on the top of the tongue does, and our brain maybe does, but this idea of eating for our tongue or eating for our brain or eating for our moods or eating for our emotions is an abuse of eating behavior, and we end up paying the price. It's as simple as that. And I'm not sitting here ripping anybody. I never think any, nobody should rip anybody for their eating choices and their food choices, ever. There's too much stuff associated. There's too much baggage associated with the food choices we make, and, and nobody should ever be made to feel guilty for food choices. And we should never feel guilty anyway. Guilt is a very counterproductive emotion. If you're, even if you're smoking cigarettes, doing drugs, drinking alcohol, whatever you're doing, Guilt is a very counterproductive emotion. It's just, what I'm talking here is just logic. It's just kind of common sense. You're on a drug. Your heart's not working like it should. You're confronting uh, your imminent demise or imminent misery and pain. And let me, as anybody who's, who's had a health challenge knows, the kind of pain and the kind of fear and trepidation that can be associated with a long-term health challenge is miserable, absolutely miserable. The pain of inflammatory diseases is so miserable that isn't it worth laying off food for a week or laying off food for a day, I'm sorry, or even a week, laying off food. Isn't it worth laying off food to reduce the inflammation and reduce the pain? And I'm not just making this up, folks. Do a, do a two-day fast. If you're dealing with a, an autoimmune disease, if you're dealing with any kind of inflammatory health challenge and it's, cost, it's causing you pain and misery, lay off a of food for a couple of days. Watch what happens. We talk about calorie restriction on this show every day. And calorie restriction has been shown over and over and over again, repeatedly, to increase longevity. Even WebMD talks about the power of intermittent fasting for reducing the inflammatory pain associated with autoimmune disease. WebMD, Google WebMD, multiple sclerosis and fasting. Eating less sugar, eating less processed food, getting on the ketogenic diet, which is a high fat, low calorie diet, high fat, low calorie. Both of those are important. We've been talking about polyphenols, especially when used with probiotics. Polyphenols are a type of plant nutrient. Enjoy vegetable juices. Enjoy vegetable juices, especially at the beginning of your meal. Something very interesting happens when you do vegetables at the beginning of your meal. Talk about that here in a second. The fiber in vegetables can be very important. Gut bacteria love fiber. And much of this has to do with a critically the, the role of fiber, anyway, and probiotics has a lot to do with bile, a critically important and very underappreciated bodily fluid that plays a, a major role in detoxification. Bile secretion is improved by intestinal health. Bile secretion is important for the absorption of heart-friendly vitamins. And guess what? Bile is a form of a very important molecule that your doctor tells you is something that you want to reduce. I'll tell you what that is when we come back from our... 
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lots of lines open for you at 844-236-6010. Get to your calls in the bottom of the hour. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your medication and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or the longevity business, if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you're advertised or recommended on the bright side, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase our longevity products right off the website. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you're looking for high-end skin health products, if you're tired of baloney skin products, they're 90% or 95% tap water. That's just nasty, nasty business. The skin business is so predatory, so unfair. Do you know you're paying for 90 to 95 percent water when you buy a skin care product at the department store, or at the salon, or, or even at your doctor's office? Why would you do that? Truth treatment products are made with 100 percent active and functional ingredients. No fillers, no wax, no emulsifier, no oil, no, no perfume, no fragrance, no preservatives, and no water. In our skin health treatment, our, our, skin, our truth treatment products, you could find out all about them at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our phone number on the bright side. We're talking cardiovascular health, strategies for cardiovascular health. I am so, so impressed with all the literature that's uh, come out about the importance of bile. I'm reading here from... Uh, uh, the journal Cr uh, Clinical and Translational uh, Clinical and Translational Science Journal. Bile acids regulate cardiovascular function. Let me say that again. That's so important. Bile acids regulate cardiovascular function. Research over the last quote. Research over the last decade has uncovered roles for bile acids that extend beyond their traditional functions in regulating fat digestion and cholesterol metabolism. Bile acids are now recognized as signaling molecules that interact with cell membranes and the nucleus, unquote. That means they affect your genetics. Bile acids upregulate the genetics. They're also involved in heart health. They're just so darn important. Here's the thing about bile. Bile is a form of cholesterol. Yes, bile is a type of cholesterol. Does your doctor know that? This is why it's so important to understand biochemistry if you're going to be helping people with their bodies. This is why clinical chemistry and the chemistry of your doctor's office is so stupid and so useless. Your doctor is going to test your cholesterol levels, but he has no idea that bile is cholesterol. And bile is critically important for cardiovascular health. That means cholesterol is critically important for cardiovascular health because bile is a form of cholesterol. Oh, yeah, vitamin D is a form of cholesterol, too, and that's critically important for, for heart health. Oh, yeah, testosterone and DHEA are also forms of cholesterol, and oh, yeah, they're also very important for cardiovascular health. Cholesterol is one of the most heart-friendly molecules there is, and your boneheaded medical professional is going to tell you you have to take a poison drug to shut down your cholesterol because he's drank the Kool-Aid. And you know what? It's not his fault. Because in medical school, doctors are hypnotized. Just like in pharmacy school, we were hypnotized. We had to watch movies. We had to watch propaganda movies in pharmacy school. We had to actually pay for trips to drug companies so we could watch them make the drugs. We actually had to pay out of our own pocket to go visit Eli Lilly and Abbott Labs in pharmacy school so we could be further propagandized. And in medical school, it's even worse. It's not the doctor's fault. He is just entranced like anybody else. We have to take care of our health on our own. That's why programs like this are so important. That's why this program is so important if you're dealing with a heart health challenge. So bile is a form of cholesterol, and bile is vitally important for heart health. Vitally important for heart health for a lot of reasons. You can't absorb selenium without bile, and, and selenium is important for heart health. You can't absorb uh, essential fatty acids, digest and absorb essential fi fatty acids, vitamin A, vitamin D. Bile is super duper important. It's a form of cholesterol. Don't take a statin drug, people. There's so many other ways to protect your heart. Eat good fat with your bile. And by the way, you'll get bile in your ultimate enzymes from longevity. Eat good fat with your ultimate enzymes. Saturated fat, butter, coconut oil, the fats that are found in fish, the fats that are found in liver, 
Don't forget your fatty vitamins, vitamin E. Don't forget your vitamin A, your vitamin D, your cholesterol complex foods, foods like eggs and organ meats and dairy all contain the cholesterol complex, which, may, uh, which is made up of vitamin E, vitamin A, vitamin D, lecithin. Always, 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 always stay away from fried fats, burnt fats, cooked fats. That's really where the problem is. Cooked fats and fried fats. Go ketogenic. Eat MCTs, MCTs, medium chain triglycerides. Get MCT oil. You can buy that in the health food store. Coconut oil is 60% MCTs. Reduce your calories. Use probiotics. Eat lots of veggies. Vegetables are a good source of what we call electrolytes. Electrolytes are electrically charged minerals. Magnesium, calcium, potassium, sodium, chloride. These are all vitally important for heart health. And a low-salt diet is not going to help your heart. uh, Sodium is not a problem. What is a problem is out of balance sodium. That is sodium out of balance with potassium. You need more potassium than sodium, but because sodium is found in all kinds of processed foods, including in the form monosodium glutamate, MSG, because sodium is a a flavoring agent, a preservative. It's found in box foods, canned foods, frozen foods. You don't even know you're eating it. That's a problem. We get way too much sodium compared to potassium. It's not so much that the sodium is an issue. It's the out of balance sodium. So get potassium. Where are you going to get potassium from? Veggies. All roads lead to veggies. All roads lead to vegetables. Now, I'm not a vegetarian, and there are some problems associated with vegetarianism, certainly. But vegetables are the king of foods in terms of their relative non-toxicity and absolute power-packed status. Power-packed with electrolytes, phytonutrients, polyphenols, as well as vit- excuse me, vitamins and minerals. Veggies, veggies, veggies. If you do veggies at the beginning of your meal, three things are going to happen. If you start your meals off with veggies, three things are going to happen. And that's either a a bowl of veggies, like a salad, or veggie juices. I like veggie juices because it's a way to get lots of vegetables really quickly and in a uh, a, 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 really easily without having to chop things up and, and mix them up and do a whole make up a whole production in your kitchen you just chop some veggies stick them in a in a vitamix and you got a big old salad that you can drink if you start your meals off with a big with a drinkable salad veggie juice if you will or with sprouts or with even frozen veggies or not frozen veggies but steamed veggies or braised veggies. If you start your meals off with veggies, three things are going to happen. First of all, it's going to assure that you get enough veggies. If you eat them when you're hungriest at the beginning of a meal, when you're really hungry, if you go for the veggies, you're going to get enough veggies that, for that meal. If you wait till later, you're going to be filled, filled up with bread or whatever, whatever you started your meal off. You're not going to eat as much vegetables. So starting your meals off with vegetables will mean you're going to get a lot more veggie power. Number two, if you start your meals off with veggies, it's going to fill you up so you eat less food. You eat less cal, you get less calories. Veggies have low calories, but a lot of nutritional value. They also have a lot of fiber, so they fill you up. So if you start your meals off with veggies, you're going to end up eating less. And then number three, something very interesting happens when we eat high-quality foods like vegetables. You'll find that you're less likely to eat crappy foods. If you start your meal off with veggies, there's something psychological that happens, a psychological phenomena that plays off on something called cognitive dissonance. Your, your brain feels like, oh my God, I'm doing something good. If you eat something bad after that, the brain just doesn't feel right. It's dissonant. I'll tell you, we'll explain, uh, we'll discuss this a little bit more when we come back from our break. We'll get to your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Got six years of archives up at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up, and brightsideben.com. If you miss a program, you want to review a program, or direct one of your friends, clients, loved ones, to a specific subject, we've got search engines up at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. 844-236-6010 is our number today, and we'll get your calls here in just a moment. And we do have lots of lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you tried to call in earlier or call in before and gotten a busy signal, now's the time to get on board. 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here momentarily, so hang on. A couple of things I want to read to you. This is uh, just, just came out yesterday 
from uh, Medscape. Vegetarianism linked to depression. In men, anyway, male vegetarians are at greater risk for depression than their meat-eating counterparts, according to new research at National Institute Institute of Health study of more than 9,600 men showed that those who reported being vegetarians or vegans had a significantly higher scores on depression measuring scale than non-vegetarians. Now, we just got through talking about veggies, and I was going to tell you about veggies at the beginning of meals. I'll do that here in a second. Uh, we just got through talking about how important vegetables are, and they are super important, low-calorie, loaded with nutrition, but just eating vegetables... You know, there's a downside, and I understand the politics and the, the philosophy of being a vegetarian. I don't like, you know, I'm not crazy about the idea of eating meat, and I certainly don't eat a lot of meat. I, matter of fact, I hardly ever eat meat. But there are powerful nutrients in animal foods that you can't get in vegetable foods, especially when it comes to brain health. Eggs and dairy, eggs in particular, are an amazing power food. And if you're vegetarian, vegetarians can still eat eggs. But if you're vegan, you're not eating eggs, you're missing a major, major major source of good nutrition, especially brain nutrition. Eggs are possibly, very likely an egg is the most powerful food known to man, at least gram for gram. In case it can be made for whey protein, but it's hard to come up with. I don't know of any food that's got more nutritional value than an egg. Anyway, vegetarianism linked to depression. There's also the whole issue of vitamin B12, which is very difficult for vegetarians and vegans to get. That's because of fertilizers and pesticides. Even if you're going organic, vitamin B12 is basically found in animal foods. And vitamin B12 is super important, not just for, uh, not just for uh, the brain and not just for dealing with depression, but also for energy levels, for the immune system, and especially for the heart. All right, we'll get your calls here in just a second, but I want to finish up talking about why, it's, why it can be so helpful and so important to start your meals off with vegetables. Number one, it's going to ensure that you get enough veggies if you eat them when you're hungry rather than eating them in the beginning or towards the end of your meal when you're less hungry. You tend to eat less. Veggies are, you'll eat less vegetables. Veggies are very filling. That's good because uh, uh, if you eat them at the beginning of your meal, you're going to eat less food. You're going, to be, you're going to be filled up much more quickly because you've already filled up partially with, the, with vegetables, with fiber-rich vegetables. And then thirdly, there's something very interesting that happens when you, start, when you eat something good, and especially if you start your meal off with something that's quality. Vegetables are quality food. And when you start off a meal with a quality food, you're going to be less likely to eat a crappy food because there's going to be something in your brain that just doesn't let you do that. There's a psychological phenomenon called cognitive dissonance. When you do something really good, if you do something bad that follows, there's a kind of uncomfortable feeling in the brain. That's called dissonance, cognitive meaning the brain or thinking. There's a cognitive dissonance, a thinking dissonance, a, an un, a, a discomfort, just a mental discomfort or psychological discomfort that will ensue if you try to eat something bad after you eat something good. Eating well, eating quality sends a message to the brain that we're health conscious, that we're taking care of ourselves. And then when we try to eat crappy, the dissonance is going to be different from what the brain expects. It's just not going to feel right. So starting your meals off with, with, with uh, vegetables or with vegetable juices can be helpful for mitigating the likelihood or reducing the likelihood that you uh, eat something crappy to follow. Now, if you start your meals off with bitter veggies, then you're going to get the bonus of bile secretion and digestive juices. So starting your meals off with cruciferous veggies or starting your meals off with dandelion greens or parsley. Anything that has a kind of, or horseradish, or radishes in general, anything that has a bitter or spicy or hot quality is going to stimulate digestive juices and prepare the digestive system for the food that will follow. So start your meals off with veggies, as particularly bitter veggies, and you'll find that you're digesting your food better and you're eating less food and you're particularly eating less crappy food. And by the way, add salt and add fat. That way you'll hit your salt buttons. We all crave salt. If you put salt on your veggies and fat on your veggies, you'll hit your salt button and your fat veggies, and your, I'm sorry, you'll hit your salt button and your uh, fat button, and you'll be m much less likely to eat French fries or fatty foods, or much less likely to eat salty foods. In fact, just eating salt and fat will reduce your appetite for salty foods and, and fatty foods. If you take coconut oil, and you do a spoonful of coconut oil, and you, or maybe sprinkle salt on coconut oil, or do veggies in coconut oil, or veggies in butter with lots of salt, and make sure you get lots of salt on there, you know, not so it's gross, but so it's really flavorful for you, and you put butter and fat in together with the veggies, 
and then you try to eat pretzels or potato chips or pizza after that, you're going to find that it's much more difficult. Even if you love pretzels and potato chips and pizza, once you have enough fat and once you have enough salt, you're going to be much less likely to eat your, eat your junk food with salt and fat and uh, salt and fat and, uh, and, and the starches as well or any kind of crappy food. The point being that we can be proactive by hitting our salt and fat hot buttons ahead of time. And that's kind of how you want to do this. It's strategic. You want to be strategic about how you eat. Again, not because I'm a foodie. I'm just saying if you're on a prescription drug or if you're dealing with a medical model because you have a heart problem or, God forbid, cancer, these are all wonderful strategies that you can use to reduce the likelihood that you're going to have to be on a prescription drug or that you're going to have to inter, uh, interact with the medical model. That's what this is all about, folks. That's what the bright side is all about. Ways that we can take care of our own health so we can avoid having to go to the darn doctor, having to go to the pharmacy and having to fill out those insurance forms and deal with the medical model. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to the phones and say good morning to Grace. How are you doing, Grace? Good, mo- good morning, Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for everything you've done. Um, I've been listening to a lot of your uh, suggestions, and they've really helped me out. Thank I you. I appreciate regarding, that. Uh, we love you here. Um, uh, the ketogenic diet. I started the ketogenic diet, and it's it's been great because um, I used to have uh, those sugar cravings. You get a headache, and now they're gone. So that's great. The problem awesome. is, yeah, I'm not eating enough. I'm losing too much weight. I'm, I'm, no. I'm slim to start. Yes, no. I'm slim to start. Wait. I am slim, but um, I'm I'm losing you, too much. And my husband's saying you're losing too much weight. Get your butt in the gym. It's not the weight that's no, important. It's the it's the shape that's important. You know, you could be yes, yes. you, you want to gain weight on your you gain weight. Just go ahead, go ahead and eat a bunch of ice cream. You'll gain weight. You'll gain weight in your belly and on your butt and in your hips. Yeah, that's I, not what you want. Uh, yeah, no, that's right? not what I want. That's what I, that's I know. What I guess. You want muscle. The, you want right, you want muscle I want mass. Muscle, but how do I do that? Here, here's how you do I it. Eat, I don't feel like eating, you know. That's great. It's hard to eat. It's great. You're going to live a long <laughs> life. That's awesome. That's eating true. is not That's eating true. is not your friend. You got to eat. I understand you got to eat, agree. but the less you eat the better off you're going to be. But I'm going to tell you how you can gain some weight okay. and keep a beautiful shape. Okay? okay. Cuz it's all about muscle mass. Lean muscle yeah, mass. All right, so don't go away, Jane, uh, Grace. We got to take Thank a we got to take a break. Okay. I am pharmacist Ben 8442366010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can call 866-735-2470. And if you'd like to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, you can go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, we're talking to Grace in Miami Beach. Hey, Grace, are you there? Yes, I am. Are you re- you're actually in Miami Beach, not the city of Miami? In yeah, Miami Beach, yes. Very, very nice. South Beach? Um, no, actually, it's a little bit called North Beach. It's a little bit more north of South Beach. Okay. I know where you are. Did you get hit with the, any of the flood stuff or any of the hurricane um, stuff? Um, actually, yeah, yeah. We, our, our street did get hit with the flood, but we were, we were all lucky because, yeah, I am like, one, I'm right across from the bay. So, okay, yeah, nice. We, we got What's it, it like it to be good. in a hurricane? What's it like to be in a hurricane? Is it intense? Um, um, it, well, um, this one was pretty scary because of how big it was, and you really didn't know where to go. <laughs> so oh, uh, we went a wow. little bit more inland. Yeah, so it's, 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 that was scary because, you know, usually like in blizzards you hunker down, but here there's like get out. So it was kind oh, of scary. Oh, my gosh. You can't yeah, hunker yeah, down. So, you don't. Yeah. Yes. It, yeah, you can't it, hunker down. You don't know what's, what's happening. The, What's the noise like, or the sound? Um, the noise—it's it, the wind. So, so you hear, you know, it, it, we have a lot of trees, so you hear the the. And then, Is it uh, horrifying? Uh, um, it it can be scary, but one of the things I usually do in hurricanes, because I've been through several of them, is yeah. I go to sleep. There's nothing you can do. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> there's nothing right. you can do. 
All right, I like your style there, Grace. I like the way you operate. <laughs> so here, here's the deal. You want to gain weight, but you want to gain muscle. You don't want to just gain fat. It's easy to gain fat. Go to Dairy Queen and just, you know, pig out on banana splits, and you'll get fat. But that's not what you want. That's not what your husband's looking no. for, right? No. So what you need no. to do, you want muscle mass, lean muscle mass, right? Yes. So what you mm-hmm. got to do is you got to combine weight training, resistance training, with nutrition. And by that I mean when you come home from the gym, you do protein and you do your creatine. And you get on a good nutritional supplement program. Uh, mo- high to moderate, if you're lifting weights, resistance training, you can do more protein than if you're not. So go ketogenic, stay with the ketogenic diet, but up your protein, and especially when you come home from the gym. Okay? But it's very important that you use, you make the body work. And this is why resistance training is so important. Resistance makes you stronger. So when you push up against something the body, that the body can't, when you try to lift something that the body can't lift, it gets stronger and it starts to build more muscle. This is the amazing thing about the body. It responds to resistance by getting bigger and stronger. But you have to do it in combination with protein and essential fatty acids and other nutrients. And the best time to do those is when you come home from the gym. So get in the gym. You don't have to do a lot. You've got to work to exhaustion or work to, uh, work to fatigue, muscle fatigue. But you don't have to do it. It doesn't have to take a lot of time, even 10 or 15 minutes a day for three or four days a week. And your muscles grow on your days off. They don't grow when you're working out. So it's important to know how to take days off. So working out every other day with resistance training, maybe you know, 15, 20 minutes kind of thing. You want to feel it though. It has to be uncomfortable. If it's if it's too if it's comfortable, that then you're not doing it right. No pain, no gain. And I don't mean pain, but resistance. You have to not want to do it. Your muscles have to be saying, yeah, Grace, we don't have to do this. This isn't so important. That's how you know you're on the right track. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like, ah, oh, well, you hear your, your body saying, we don't, really, we don't really need to do anything. That pharmacist doesn't know what he's talking about anyway. You know, if you feel like, if you hear that <laughs> voice in your head, then you know you're on the right track. And then when you come home, get yourself on creatine and whey protein, both of which are available um, in health food stores, or you can get your Slender FX or Keto FX from Longevity. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Grace. Right. Um, no, um, I try. I'm, I'm allergic to whey because I've done all the whey. I'm allergic to that, so I do other proteins. Then do another um, form. Creatine, right? Creatine, done, awesome Creatine, stuff. it it just goes right through me. I can't. Then I, I, how, smaller doses, how, s- smaller doses, doses, smaller okay, doses. Okay. Correct. Start small and 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 like start small, trade, like you say. Okay. okay. Yeah, small doses and that. work your way up, but start with small doses. Okay. Okay, will do. Thank okay, you, Grace. I appreciate it. Thank you very hey, good much. Good to talk Take to you. Care. Take care. Bye bye. All right, let's go to uh, Minneapolis and say good morning to Ron. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good. Good, good morning. How are you, pharmacist? Uh, I'm doing well. How can we help you, Ron? Yeah, I have gas first thing in the morning, and I don't know why it's before I eat when I first get up. What are you uh, eating at night? What are you eating before you go to bed? Um, it's usually like a half of a protein bar, but then I follow it with apple cider vinegar. Or uh, turkey, a little bit of rice, apple cider vinegar. Go ahead. Try see what happens if you don't eat anything for like maybe two or three hours before you go to bed. Stop eating. Say you go to bed at ten. Stop eating at five or six, and see if that makes well, a difference. Okay, yeah? but I, I won't be able to sleep because about one in the morning my stomach will wake up growling. I'm real. My BMI then do, is really high. I've got low body the, fat and a lot of muscle. I got gotcha. you. So. And you're, you're on the right track with the protein, and that's a very good strategy, using a little bit of protein before you go to bed. Change your source of protein, okay? It may be that you're, but you're, you're not processing that protein correctly, and also use probiotics before you go to bed. Get, find a probiotic that really works and take maybe 15, 20 billion units. Use the nightly essence uh, before you go to bed. So two things. Change your source of protein before you go to bed, and I, I commend you for knowing that. That's a really good strategy to use a little bit of protein before you go to bed. But change the source of the protein. You may have to experiment. Yesterday we talked to, uh, I think it was yesterday, we talked to Stan Dennison, who's using chia protein, which I hadn't heard of, but that's a good source of protein. Maybe get on the TMR, and you can find that from Longevity, the TMR meal replacement right before you go to bed. Or use pea protein, P-E-A, of course, pea protein, that's another source you might try. Uh, Hemp seed protein, that's another source. Brazil nut protein, you kind of change your source of protein and use probiotics as well right before you go to bed and see if that makes a difference, okay? Okay, what kind of probiotics 
do with you today? I, li- I like the what Nightly Essence. I like the Nightly Essence. I use it every day. That's my favorite. There's lots of different ones. You have to experiment with them. You know, I was at a, I think I may have talk- talked about this last week. I was at a nutrition show uh, a couple weeks ago, and I got to talk to some probiotic experts. And it turns out, you know, there, there's a lot of misunderstanding about probiotics, even at the level of the manufacturers. The manufacturers don't even understand probiotics. And how probiotics work, uh, the type of probiotics and how the different types work, and there's hundreds of different types of probiotics and bacteria, uh, nobody really has a clear understanding on how these things work and the right ones to use, the right brands to use, and that's why you got to experiment. I would start off with the Nightly Essence and see how you do. If you don't get the kind of results you want from the Nightly Essence, just start to experiment with different brands. There's zillions of them, and it is an experimental process, unfortunately, but I would start off with the Nightly Essence. Okay. Is that on your website? Your website yep. Maybe it, yep. Criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. Thank you. Well, okay, buddy. Good to talk to you. Take care. Let's go to Canada and say good morning to Cliff. Good morning, my friend. How you doing? Not too bad, sir. Yourself? Doing well. How can we help you, Cliff? Where in Canada yeah, are you, by just, the way? Where uh, are you? Ottawa, the capital. Nice, nice. Love Canada. Love Ottawa too. Great, great. Yeah, just uh, like I wanted to talk about fasting. I know you're always talking about caloric restriction and fasting. Yes, yes. And uh, like it's something that I'm like really taking seriously. And uh, uh, like I've been, I think since about 2013, this is when I started to fast. Like I had friends that fasted for religious purposes. Okay. And uh, like we began fasting and stuff and and now, for a while, I've been on a, like, every week I fast about, like, 24 hours. That's From awesome. Saturday, I start at work at around 7 p.m., and I go to, like, Sunday around 7 p.m. Good Just for you. Stri- strictly with water. I found that it really helps me a lot. And, and Specifically, I, how does it help you? Give me, give well, me just a couple things ways, that you know. Yeah. Lots of ways. Like, for example, like, I get control of my appetite because uh, what happens when I find that I fast, is that, uh, like, even throughout the week, I'm not craving food this, the way I used to crave it, you know? That's awesome, Like, I don't Cliff. crave stuff, and, and I've heard that this works for other people, too, that way, and uh, I get control of my appetite, plus... Love it. It sort of, like, brings makes me more relaxed, you know? Uh, like, it gets rid of stress when I, I have this, like, 24-hour period, and then after after the period, I seem to be more relaxed. And uh, lots of stuff. There's benefits. My weight. How about energy is, levels? You notice more energy? Uh, not uh, like just towards the end of my fast. I have less energy, but uh, like you know. Uh, but at the same time, uh, like I have more. Like throughout the week, uh, actually, I, my problem was, in a sense, I was too stressed out, and I found that like uh, either, either way, like I I have an okay amount of energy. I do a lot through the day. Uh, like I have to walk a lot and I have to do a lot of stuff. So at my age, like I'm 61, I, I can do a full day and no problem, you know. So I guess I do have enough energy. And like what I'm trying to do now is to incorporate uh, like um, uh, like resistance training, like you're saying. Good you know, for you. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, but like the thing that hey, like hey, I Cliff, got this, Cliff, I hate ahead. to do this to you. We're out of time, buddy. I, I hate to yeah, do that okay. to you. Can you call back? Give us a call back. Sure, I'll get sure. you first up. Just say Cliff in Canada. I'll put you first up, okay? I'm sorry to do that, but that's some good information. No, okay. Thank you so much no for sharing, bro. Have a good Thank day, man. You. All right. That's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thank you so much for listening. Check out my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products and the longevity business, and also truthtreatments.com for our truth skin health products. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. Thank you.